Finally, whatever is true, think about such things. Welcome to Truth Is, the podcast based on the blog, based on tidbits of truth that find their way filtering through the mind of Dewey Roth. That would be me, and this would be episode 44, Truth on a Subway Wall. The very first paragraph of the very first post in the Truth Is blog made reference to Simon and Garfunkel's song, Sound of Silence. It said, It's been said that no one has cornered the market on truth. That's probably accurate, but it doesn't rule out the possibility of this being a little corner of truth, tucked away in the huge city of life, where, according to Paul Simon, the words of the prophets are written on the subway walls and tenement halls. That idea of where the words of the prophets are sometimes written is preserved on the Truth Is Facebook page and has led me to share another Paul Simon lyric, this one even more focused on the theme. A Poem on the Underground Wall by Paul Simon. The last train is nearly due. The underground is closing soon, and in the dark, deserted station, restless in anticipation, A man waits in the shadows. His restless eyes leap and scratch at all that they can touch or catch, and hidden deep within his pocket, safe within his silent socket, he holds a colored crayon. Now from the tunnel's stony womb, the carriage rides to meet the groom and opens wide and welcome doors, but he hesitates, then withdraws deeper in the shadows and the train is gone suddenly, on wheels clicking silently, like a gently tapping litany, and he holds his crayon rosary tighter in his hand. Now from his pocket, quick, he flashes, the crayon on the wall he slashes, deep upon the advertising, a single worded poem comprised of four letters. And his heart is laughing, screaming, pounding, the poem across the tracks rebounding, shadowed by the exit light, his legs take their ascending flight to seek the breast of darkness and be suckled by the night. When looking up this lyric, I read several different opinions about what this song means and what the four-letter poem is. Many assumed something profane, others opted for hope or love. Truth is, in every city, every village, everywhere you look, there are hurting people who are crying out, each in their own way. What kind of people, then, should we be? You can find The Truth Is blog by going to almostthetruth.com, where you can also find my contact information and learn about the humor blog, Almost The Truth. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, like, share, and talk about Truth Is, please, and thank you. My name is Dewey Roth. God bless us, everyone. Truth Is is a production of Almost the Truth Communication Services.